everybody so now i have got this nice big house for the digester i'm now on to the next thing and you might have seen a while ago i did i upgraded my um scrubbers to these and they i don't think they're working very well there's a few reasons i think but it's a bit difficult because they're solid um i can't have a look inside and see which where the issue is so i'm going to completely change the scrubbers again so upgrade number three so these are the water filters that i've seen other people use and they look great um you can see through them so you can see what's going on in terms of gas bubbling things like that and they're yeah looking great so i've got three of these they cost about 15 pounds each which actually is really cheap for what they are they all sealed up and everything like that so i'll show you how i'm going to turn these into three scrubbers and also show you something else so at the moment i have my gas bag here um so sun is up there so that's getting a lot of uv which isn't great for it also for all the piping that's coming out of the old scrubbers so they're going to go what we're going to do is put the gas line up through the roof there into the shed and it's a bit dark in here we're going to fit the scrubbers on this wall here and then have the gas bag on the floor down here so let's get into it Okay, so we now have the pipe coming out of the digester and it goes into, up into the cavity above the, above the wall there. And it comes inside and we will pull that through and fix it to our filters. But first we have to make our filters. Now to do that, we've got these three of these, as I mentioned earlier. Now, if we take the tops off these, you can see that there is, this pipe is sealed. It's actually the, the out pipe for if these are water filters, so we're gonna reverse the flow. So actually the, the air, the gas comes in the out, which comes into the um, filter and go out the rest. So we'll take all three of these lids off and screw them together. Well, let's take you through all the uh, other bits that I have first, I guess. We have these little um, three-quarter inch um, BSP connectors. A couple of those, and I have a BSP to 25 mil PVC pipe. That's out. Let's tip this out, shall we? This is everything we're going to need. So, like I said, we have a couple of these, and we have these um, female BSP brass adapters. Um, I've taken this off the old scrubbers. Then we have some bubble rocks, which are from fish tanks. And this is to essentially turn the gas into tiny little bubbles for when it's going through each of the scrubbers. Then we have some hose adapters from 8mm to 4mm so that we can fit the um, rocks to the hoses. Uh, we have a hose, both 8mm and we have some 4mm somewhere. Yeah, okay, so let's attach these all together and then we'll work, go from there.
Okay, there we go. So we have the gas will come in from the out here, will come this way through each one and then we'll go out to the in at the other end. Right, now for the inside, for these ones, that is what I have bought these for. So they fit quite nicely onto here. Three of those. Okay, three of those and then these brass Again, the BSP to these are to the just the normal um, pipe adapters. So they are going to go two, three into there, and then we'll attach our tubing to the air rocks. So this is eight millimeter pipe. adapters to the smaller 4mm and the 8mm. Okay. Right, now we need the smaller pipe. these it's nice four mil pipes which means you can attach these little bubble rocks to the bottom of each one right let's put these on and then we can see how it's going to attach to the wall okay so so we have these fittings, they're going to attach to either end. Right, so we're going to use these fittings, um, fittings from the old scrubbers, which is useful. Um, and we are going to, for the in, so just use a 25mm, it's going to be like that. And then for the other ones, slightly different, we're going to use a elbow to there. And then I've just got to put together this last one. Um, again, these are using brass adapters. I like using the brass, um, just much more sturdy. They're still really inexpensive, um, although you might have to wait some lead time on them. But we go right okay, together. Okay, there he is. So that now attaches to here. And that goes out to the gas bag. And then we have these wall mounts, which attach to the top of here, to these things, and attach to us to the wall. Then we will fill the substrate up and connect it all together. All right, let's, um, I'll glue them up and then we'll attach them to the wall. So they're now installed on here. We just have to trim this down, attach them onto here. I think we have to, have to melt the end as well to do that. And then we're going to use proper gas line to go from this to the gas bag, which we're going to put here. Looking good. Well, 
cool and can attract onto there and that'll be sealed. Just as I did that, I thought it might be useful to have an inline stop here. So we take one off the old scrubbers again to stick in here. So we'll do that and then we'll move on to do the top. Okay, now this is the line that's going to go into the gas bag. I've got a little um, thingy clip, whatever they're called. So now we've got all the in pipes and stuff sorted, we can now fill these guys up. So we go water, then cat litter, which is a, a desiccator, so it removes the moisture from the water. And then we have an iron wool, which removes the hydrogen sulfide. Okay, there we go. So all the other um, valves are open. Let's open this. And, well, it's now all open. So if there is any gas, it'll start bubbling up here at some point. But I think at the moment it needs feeding more. But yeah, there we go.